I'm Dr. Julie Bate. I want to welcome you to my Facebook online party. Welcome. Um, I wanted to tell everybody a little bit about us born books and how great they are for your children or grandchildren or if you just have friends that have children. They make great gifts. Um, we're going to start out with younger children first. Um, one of the books that my children really like, you can come a little closer, I'm the cameraman, is that it has, um, they have great touchy-feely books like this one, Animal Hide and Seek. And it has touchy-feely and um, flaps so the child can look for the characters and then touchy-feely. And this author, um, actually the artist, puts a hidden duck in every page so your little ones can find the little duck on every page and interact. And then they can also touch and feel. So that one's pretty nice. This one my daughter really likes. They also have lift to flat books. This one's under the sea and every page has a hidden little fish and they have to lift all the flaps to find the little fish. So it's kind of nice. They can look, see here's a little fish here, but under the other ones, of course, you're going to find different characters and have a little storyline for the young children. Also, we have the a bestseller is a That's Not My Blank um, series. So that's not my puppy, that's not my princess, that's not my pr um, prince, that's not my plane. Just about any animal or object you can think of, trains. Um, they have, that's not my puppy book here, and so the child can learn colors, they can touch and feel, and every page has a little mouse on it that the child can look for, and it has a lot of um, rhythm to it so the children can kind of learn it, and so as they get older they can read it to their younger siblings, so our four-year-old will read it to his sister because he knows all the words, and at the end they find their puppy. Okay, and... So some other books for younger children would be phonics. There's phonics series. So this is one example of the phonics book series. They have um, where you can buy a whole collection and save money. But it's underpant for ants and um, has nice graphics. And you can see the us for and all the pay, the artist um, drawings go from um, scene to scene, like this one. Um, so the child can see wonderful illustrations and they can practice reading. It has phonics based learning so it's good for your early readers and you can also this is another uh, nice series it comes in a volume so you can save money by buying in a volume um, where it has multiple books um, in one uh, one binding and so this one's nice it has a little flip lift out extra pages and you see the graphics are really well done and this is the same um, artist that has all the hidden duck on every page and I didn't even realize it until our two-year-old pointed out there was a hidden duck, and she really likes that. And this is called Ted and Friends. They also have um, activity cards for children. So like this one's nice, uh, 100 things for a little children to be able to trip. And it comes with a little dry erase pen, but you can always buy more if you lose one. Um, it actually has lots of little activity cards that the child could do in the car. And I put a little ring, punched a hole and put a ring clip on it so the child could um, play with four or five at a time in the car or at the restaurant to keep them busy without the iPad. You can also get it for older kids, like this one's the First World War series. And it has like planes and tanks and guns and ships and all this stuff in different wars. And they have it for World War I and I think in World War II for more educational. And this is also neat for the eye doctor friends out there, 50 Optical Illusions. And they, they actually have Optical Illusion activity books too that are really cool. And I give these out, um, I give a couple pages out to each of my um, children that come in that are interested in them when they get eye exams at the office. And let's see, we also have, this is kind of a nice book to show you how good the board books are for younger, for younger children. So this one is my first word book for children trying to learn their words. So the vocabulary, and so you can go through and tell the, tell your little ones, your little babies, um, all the different words. And um, they have it for more advanced as well, but you can see it's high quality. And uh, Usborne has a warranty. If um, your children tear up their books, they get 50% uh, off a new book. Okay, so that's good to, good to know. And they also have lots of um, kind of seek and find books. And I bought this for my son because he really likes insects. But they have it in different uh, different genres. This one's a thousand and one thousand and one bucks to spot. And what I really like about this is the illustrations are just beautiful. And you can see how well they're drawn. And so the children can seek and find different things. But for example, this one says nine flag-footed bugs, one pink katydid, two stick insects, 
seven horned Katie did seven uh, four helicopter dam damsel flies. So it has a, the really elaborate name for everything and different uh, habitats. So that's really neat for kids to do, and it's good for um for um their uh, eye, uh, and um, sorry hand eye coordination. So I always think that's good for when I'm just prescribing therapy for children. If they need to do um, exercises um, for their eyes, if they're doing patching, I always recommend seek and find books. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what else we have here. We also have lots of um, books for kids that are early readers. Like this is a bestseller, The What If Monster. And you see the drawings and are really colorful. And you can actually buy a little, um, on the website, you can also buy the stuffed animal that goes with the book. And it's pretty neat because it, sh it shows how children are scared to do new things. And he says, what if I fell from the tree? And what if something happened while I was swimming? But in the very end, it shows if you do all these things you're scared to do, that great things could happen. So you can make new friends. You can learn how to swim. You could be on the sports team and have, have a good time. So it's a good um, storyline for children. They also have chapter books for girls and boys. So this is a um, TikTok Taylor All-Star Cheerleaders. But they have ones about horses and um uh, for boys, things that are early chapter books, you can see that it'd be good for early early readers that are starting to do early chapter books. They have lots of series. They have ones about animals, uh, pet detectives, and they also have ones. They also have more advanced for older children. So, like teenagers, they have books that are kind of like 24 series called um, Conspiracy 365, and they have the last 13. And they also have the Phoenix Files, which is supposed to be like. Um, The Catching Fire series. What's that series, Ted? Hunger Games. Sorry, Hunger Games. Hunger Games yeah. Which that's the Phoenix Files, and also for your older children that like to read about history. I knew I like to read about the like Roman mythology and Greek mythology, and so this talks about Egyptians, uh, Romans, Greeks, different early civilizations. It just shows really great graphics. You can see how neat the illustrations are and how educational they are. But they're also internet linked, so the children can actually look stuff up on the internet that it's actually been um, uh, put together by us born so the children can even learn more than, than what's in the book. So this is really good for um, children that like to learn um, about different uh, uh, ancient world cultures, but they also have this for science and uh, engineering, and that's our son's favorite bedtime story book. Um, for a four-year-old, that's kind of weird, but he really likes it because all the illustrations. And then also they have books um, that kind of like um, boys would like about spying and planes and tanks and all kinds of stuff. You can see it talks about, has lots of pictures on every page that so makes it interesting. So lots of kids don't like to read fiction, but they'll read something like this that's educational and um, interesting because the graphics are really great. And they have that for a little bit older children series. And they also have a little bit younger um, Restborn Beginner Science series. So they have like owls and trees and different types of animals and under, uh, underwater life. And so it's pretty neat, all the, the pictures and illustrations are great. This one's nice, they have lots of lift to flat books or make it fun and educational for the kids. So this one, even our son that's kind of young likes, but I would think it'd be good for elementary and early middle school age. And you can lift a flap and learn about different parts of the body. And so kids will sit there in my waiting room and they'll play with this book because they can learn about the body, but they also have fun just seeing what's under each flap. And some of them are kind of gross and fun at the same time. You know, kids love that. So that's the Lift a Flap series. And they have uh, Sea Inside series. Sorry, it has lots of Lift a Flaps, but they have lots of books in this genre. They have like Sea Inside Trains that our son really likes. Um, so that one's a really neat series. You can get different genres. And you also can get um, books like this one. This is the bestseller, Secrets of the Apple Tree. And this one talks about the um, apple tree and the ecology and things that live around the tree. And they actually, if you shine a flashlight, you can see that you can't really see anything here, but when you shine a flashlight through, you'll be able to see there's things on the other side. And so you can see what kind of grows that's hidden. And you can illuminate it flashlight from the back side of the page. And like you'll be able to see a lizard shine through with a flashlight. If you have children that are creative, that like to color and draw and doodle, they have lots of activity books. So this is, they have lots of sticker books that are their bestsellers. And my kids really like these, but even my two-year-old, because I can do it with her, and has good um, hand-eye coordination and dexterity. And they really have elaborate, lots of costumes for the doll. This is kind of more like a paper doll, 
but they also have boy themed sticker books. And this is for the drawing and coloring people. So this is the neatest coloring book. You can see they have where they, they kind of start the coloring and the kids can finish filling in. And they have really great um, illustrations. It's just fun for, I would say for more elementary, elementary age um, boys and girls. And they have lots of these kind of series. Here's a maze, big book of mazes. So if your children like to do mazes, it's just really high quality and good, um, good for the children to play. It won't tear up easily. The pages are very thick. They also have 50 things to draw and paint. You can see here. So if you have an artist or a budding artist and they really like to draw and paint, it shows them how to paint and draw different things like animals and people and fairies. And this I think is neat for anybody that has kids that go off to camp or go to visit relatives and want to send a note back. It's 50, they have 25 postcards to color, but they also have note cards. And what's neat about it, they can color it and then on the back side, everybody has it pre-filled where they can say, dear blank, we're having a good time at camp. But it has part of it already written for them, so they can write you a postcard back from camp. So that's pretty neat. And now that we're almost to Halloween, have um, spooky things to make and do. So the activity books, so if you kids just like to do different activities, it's pretty interesting. So it gives you lots of ideas of things you can do that are crafty with your kids that are easy for kids to do. And they also have 100 um, paper planes to fold and fly. So if you just have kids a lot to do interactive things, this one actually gives you instructions how to fold the different types of planes. And then they give you tons of paper, all the different illustrations to make paper planes for your kids. And I think last but not least, I got a couple more books. We have On the Moon. And what I like about this is it's educational, but it's fun for the children. Because I even learned a couple things about going to outer space that I had never even heard before. But you can see the illustrations were well done. And what's neat is they actually make it look like on the TV, um, when they're landing on the moon, it looks like a real um, lunar surface behind them. And here's like real, what the Earth really looks like from space. So they actually intertwined um, cartoon drawings and actual um, pictures of the Earth and moon. So I think it's pretty neat. It talks about what it's like to be out in space and on the moon. And for you people that like to do writing, so this one's Write Your Own Storybook, and it gives the children story ideas for writing and being creative writers. So it's pretty, it gives them, you know, write a story about a mountain and, and what, you know, what build up problem resolution. So you have a children that like to write or you want to encourage them to be writers or be better writers. So this is pretty neat, it gives them ideas of kind of um, different topics of writing and like some of our more journal style. So it's pretty interesting. And they also have lots of math and science books, and this one would be for early math, um, for like children in elementary school, but it's first illustrated math dictionary. And so you have to see it's really colorful and interesting for kids that are trying to learn math or you're trying to explain something to them they don't really understand. And you can also get white clean books that are like multiplication, um, subtraction, ABCs that are also good for kids. I don't have a sample, but it's, um, White Clean Books are bestsellers too, so you should check, check that out on the website. And I think that's about most of the books that we had for display today. So if you want to know more, go to my website, drjoybooks.com, D-R-J-O-Y-B-O-O-K-S.com, and click shop, and you can go ahead and um, buy some great books for your kids. If you're interested in hosting a party, let me know, because August has great um, incentives for hosting parties right now as well as if you want to host your own party let me know um, so look forward to talk to you guys on the facebook party in just a little bit thanks